Hi guys, um, uh, I'm a third year medical student in Dao Medical College and I'm not always dressed up in a suit, it's just that um, I just got back from a wedding, my friend's wedding and uh, I had uh, I had too much chocolate ice cream so I can't sleep, I'm, I'm high on sugar so I've decided to shoot a video, yeah so um, what is this video about? Okay, so we're starting off this new series, okay? And um, let me explain to you why we're starting it off. So back when, we, back when I was in first year, and uh, back when I was in first year, I was given a book list on the different textbooks available for each subject and the books I needed. And I just realized that for each subject, there were like five different textbooks. And obviously you can't be buying all those five different textbooks, right? Because it's like, you won't, obviously you won't be able to go through all of them. You won't have the time to. And not every book would be suitable for you. Like every book has its pros and cons and you got to find what, what book best fits you. Yeah. So what I've decided to do, what we've decided to do is to start off this series and give our perspective on each textbook. Um, we've gone through most of them. So yeah, I think we can see, we can talk th from our experiences on the pros and cons of each textbook and what textbook we use, you guys could, um, yeah. Then also, okay, so before we start off, um, I would just like to say we are average or below average medical students. So, and it's just our opinion on a specific textbook. It's our opinion. We're not forcing it upon you. We're just giving you our perspective on the textbooks so you guys um could accept you guys could just like listen to it and listen to our perspective and yeah uh i wouldn't say like make your judgment like make the final judgment based on your 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 review of everything go through the textbook yourself read a few pages and watch this video and uh you know this this series um i just want to tell you guys that we are inspired by someone else um, i'm not sure what his name is right now currently um, I don't have it remembered uh, I will link him down in the description below yeah so you do check him out um, he, he goes like what's up YouTube on every video that's all I remember but then he is also a really great guidance so do check him out before buying your books okay, so as you guys can probably tell by the title of this video I am gonna be talking about the textbooks available for pathology and the first book I would like to talk about is this one um, it's called Pathologic Basis of Disease. It's by Robbins. And this volume, or this book comes in two volume. So there's volume one and volume two. They're like this thick. Um, it has a lot of words. It's in paragraph form and it has a lot of pictures. Yeah. Um, so this book, okay. So what are its pros? The pros of this book are that, um, this is probably the most detailed and most elaborate book of pathology okay so what i mean by that is this book would never would definitely not be too short or insufficient this book is i guess more than sufficient it's over sufficient if there's a word um yeah like this book is probably like the encyclopedia of pathology yeah, it has everything for every single disease. Okay, so for those of you that enjoy reading big books and want a solid foundation, like a very concrete foundation, I would say this book is definitely for you. Okay, the reason why um, I've tried this book out, I've checked this out when I was in first year, I probably read like two pages, like a paragraph, two pages and I just gave up. And the reason to that is, was that I couldn't see myself reading this book. The reason to that was reading one page and understanding that one page took several hours and reading 10 pages would have me taking like 20 naps in between because it just, it's just like the information is just overwhelming and it just, it just becomes too much. Yeah, now, but that, that's me like, so, the cons of this book would be that it's too much so it would be really hard to remember everything and keep in track of everything yeah but then for it um i do have friends who read this book so like for those of you that have the 
skill set and the ability required to read such a big textbook, a dense textbook, this book is definitely for you. Um, yeah, so it would definitely build a big found, uh, solid foundation. The only thing, uh, the reason why um, many of my friends and I, I included, the reason why we don't select this book is that it's just too much to take and it just takes too much, it's time consuming and it's hard to retain everything and yeah, it just, it's just, it's a lot of extra information and you're just going to have to see what is important and what is not important. You're going to have to figure that out yourself as you read. So yeah, and the fact that, suppose if it's an eight week module, reading this whole, the reading a specific topic takes me the whole module. So I don't get time for revision and I'm a type of person who enjoys, um, who prefers reading the same thing over and over for a better understanding. So yeah, this book was not for me. So that's his pros and cons. Pros is that um, you build a solid foundation. This has everything and you won't ever feel that you lack. You don't know why what's happening, why what why something is happening. This book would explain it to you all. The cons are is that the cons are that it's just too time consuming and it's just overwhelming. Yeah. So this is basis. OK, so it comes in two volumes. Yeah. And along with basis, there's another book called basic which i don't have right now but then um it's like this it's just one volume um it's this thick but then it's just one volume and it's by the same author it is of the same thing yeah so if somebody who who says that okay this book basis is too much don't get confused basis and basic they sound similar so for those of you that might think that okay basis is too much they might prefer basic um I didn't prefer it. It's, it's by the same author, so it's pretty much the same thing. I read both of them. I really I didn't really see the difference. I thought they were both um, overwhelming, um, but that's just me. So don't take my word for it. But yeah, this is like what ma many people think. This is what many people think of this, this the two books. Yeah, so um, that, that's basic and basis. And along with that, there's another book. Um, I don't have it right now. Um, it's of this size, a little bit bigger than this, and that's called Baby Basis. So it's the condensed version of Basis, yeah? And that too, yeah, so um, I don't, I haven't really read that, so I really can't say, but then I would say do check, do give that a look. Um, it might suit you, suit your needs. But then, yeah, so that's Basis, Basic, and Baby Basis. Okay, so the next book I'm going to cover is Fundamentals of Pathology by Dr. Sattar. Yeah, um, we call it Pathoma. Um, I love this book. I per um, this is the book I use for pathology and I love this book. It's this thin. Um, and you guys might think, okay, that basis is this thick and this is Pathoma. Like, yeah, but then um, the thing about this book is that, okay, so it's not just a book. It comes with a video series um, and in that video series, Dr. Sattar, he explains every single topic step by step. Yeah, and you can watch that video and then read the text that he talked. The text in the video is pretty much the same thing. Yeah, but then he just explains and build your foundation. He builds the concept in the video and then also explains the text in the video. So yeah, I, I love this series. Um, it's in point form, but that's what I really like about it. Um, so it's like they talk about, so the difference between this and basis is that this has all the high yield stuff. So whatever is important along with the concept, it just has that, that's it. Like it doesn't have the molecular stuff. It doesn't have all the extra stuff. This is just all the high yield stuff. So yeah, um, this book, okay, is perfect along with the videos. If you watch it with the videos, it's the best. It would build your foundation and it has all the important stuff. So, and then you also have um, spaces in the side, as you guys can see, to make your notes for whatever he says in the video. Or if you read something from a bigger textbook, you guys could add it on here so that when the time of revision comes, you guys could read that. So yeah. Um, this is why I prefer Pathoma. It comes in points 
it doesn't take that much time to read go through everything and although it's less pages and less dense than basis it, you do build a pretty solid foundation you do understand what's going on with every single disease and you um it talk it has all the high important stuff for every single disease so um it's quite good yeah so this is why i prefer it you can revise it uh, many times as possible um yeah so this is pathoma um it's the book i personally prefer and yeah uh and i study in dow medical college so it does um i've successfully passed so far so yeah it does help it does sound like it's not enough okay and the next book i'm going to talk about i use it um along with pathoma and that book is golden it's called rapid review of pathology by edward f golden and this book is much thicker than pathoma this is pathoma in comparison and the thing about this book is that it's also in point forms i guess i personally prefer point forms over paragraphs um it's less scary it's not scary and it doesn't put me to sleep this yeah so uh this is in a similar format with pathoma but then the thing with this book is that suppose like pathoma if you don't understand something what i feel i read i after giving one read of pathoma and watching through the videos what i do is go through golgen and the reason why i do that is because for like if i like watch through if i read through and watch the videos of pathoma and i feel that i don't know i don't i don't have a full grasp of what is going on golgen definitely covers those holes it it builds my foundation it solidifies the foundation and the concepts for every single topic so and yeah and after going through pathoma and after you have a basic understanding this book doesn't take that long to read you just like you know what's going on and this just has the extra fillers i guess so yeah this is a book i would definitely recommend and for those of you that plan on giving the usme or yeah the steps pathoma and golgen they're made for it um pathoma is definitely recommended i think it's given an a plus in the, the first aid as books to use for usme so yeah these two books golgen and pathoma they're ideal for usme as well as for building a foundation of pathology yeah um and another reason why i don't prefer like basis is that it's just too much information like i've said numerous times in this video i'm becoming a doctor not a not a pathologist so yeah like having a solid foundation is definitely necessary but then it just is i can't do that i can't be having such a solid foundation at the cost of so much time but then there are students who could go through all of that information and understand it in such a short time so it's ideal for them i guess but then unfortunately i'm not one of them <laughs> yeah so for those of you that live in pakistan there is this book by irfan masood special pathology yeah this book is it's basically a review book this book um it covers everything um it's like it's it's basically a short book of basis for those so for those of you that don't have the time to go through basis and you guys just want to know what's important from basis and you guys just want to know the important stuff this book is definitely for you um yeah it has all the important stuff and um it just has everything from basis so it's quite good it's very good um and for those of you that are studying in Dow University this book would definitely help you out um i don't like using it so much because when i read it i just it's just really boring it doesn't build your understanding or concept as well as pathoma and i feel like it just wrote memorization and that's not something i prefer it just puts me to sleep yeah so this is erfan masood special pathology and i guess this is it for pathology i've discussed basis basic golgen pathoma erfan masood patho uh, pathology and there's nothing else so um i hope you guys like this video 
Um, I guess I'm probably like the first guy on YouTube talking about medical books in a suit. Yeah. And okay, so um, until next time. So, okay. Um, while I was editing the video and I compiled the whole clip, I realized that the video was too long and it might bore a lot of you guys. So we've decided to put a table like this at the end of every video for every subject and every book we review. And in that, we're going to grade it based on how easy is it to understand, the time required to read it, and how easy is it to read. And what I mean by how easy is it to read um, is like, um, you know how some books, if it's just like, pages after pages full of words after words in paragraph form essays after essays it just is overwhelming and gives you pressure and stress it stresses you out whereas books with in point form and you know with good spacing and good paragraph good indentation would be less stressful to read so what i that's what i mean by how easy is it to read so yeah um number five is best and number one is bad how easy is it to, is it to understand five would be the easiest one would be the worst time required to read it five would be very quick and one would be it would take a very long time and how easy is it to read so you guys probably have it figured out by now number one would be very hard to read and number five would be very easy to read so that's the total score so yeah this like i said at the beginning of the video this is our opinion you guys might disagree and others might disagree, but it's up to you.